Bazak. Guess who's Bazak, y'all? I'm back. Let go of my camera. Why are you right here? No, I don't want to put it right there. I'm vlogging. So, hi guys. Today is, what's today? June 28th. 28th. And, um, stop. You're not climbing back up here. I'm about to get up. We about to go eat. Yeah, I'm about to go eat. What you want to eat? I don't know. You don't know? Mm-hmm. You wanna go bye bye get something to eat? I want fish fries. Fish fries? Mm-hmm. Uh, sure. Okay, Ollie, you gotta be so proud of me. <laughs> she said I'm gonna eat all of it. You're gonna be so proud of me. Um uh. but I just filmed my pregnancy update and like where I've been and all that stuff. So if you guys haven't stopped, if you guys haven't seen that, this should be up after that so go check it out um if you guys are wondering where i've been and if you're not following me on instagram to get those updates so i um, need to go eat because i'm hungry i'm hungry too and i'm sure my baby's hungry taylor and baby uh leave those blinds alone little girl huh talk to you guys hi guys Today I the little person. So I know all my colors. I know all the red, green, yellow, and yellow. white, and blue, and green. Let's and go show them the poster. Sure. We're going to show you guys her learning posters. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not Can you take my water for me? Sure. Sure. I gotta edit that video Ugh, and get it up before my call start this evening. What you wanna eat, boo? I don't feel like going nowhere, Tutu. 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 Want salad? She loves salad, y'all. Want some salad? Get out my refrigerator like that. I want this. You want your nuggets? Yeah. Do I have french fries? No, you don't have no french fries. Those french fries don't last, baby. McDonald's. <laughs> Those french fries do not last. Last? They don't last. That is interesting. Yeah, I haven't bought anything for the baby yet. Um, Taylor keeps saying like, mommy, you gotta buy my brother some clothes. You gotta buy my brother some clothes. Like, I know Taylor, but we're gonna wait. So I probably won't buy anything until like August. Um, for real. I hope I ain't burn these little nuggets. Please. All right, what else you want, Taylor? I you, we don't have any french fries, baby. Is it all gone? Yes, you ate them yesterday. Mm -hmm. No, why not? No, why not? No. I think I'm going to eat a salad myself. Salad? Yep. I deal with salad. Do you want some salad? Yeah. Okay, can you get out the floor? All right, y'all, Taylor is tearing up the salad. She she literally eats a dry salad with nothing on it, like nothing, like no, no dressing, no croutons, no tomatoes. She's just eating the salad. Is it good? Look at this dry salad, y'all. <gasps> to dance. I'm not getting no money. I'm not getting no, I'm not getting no. <laughs> I'm not getting no candy. I'm not getting no movie. I'm not getting no. Shake your head like this. No, you shake your head. All right. Hi, guys. Why would I get the nuggets? So I'm about to eat. I'm about to pull out her chart. Um, I got a lot of questions about these on Instagram. Because if I ever disappear, y'all, I'm still on Instagram every single day. I, that's a promise. Every single day I'm still on Instagram, even if I'm not on YouTube. So what? that's a fact. Um, 
so I got a lot of questions about these. These are also from Amazon. Prime has become my, my best friend because I can order stuff and have it to me so quick. All right, I'm making lunch. I need to post one Instagram. Ugh, okay. Yeah, I'm tired. I need to lay down. Okay. Um, what, what we got going on? What we got? Yeah, so today I realized. And I meant to say something about this. I meant to say something about this while um, filming my pregnancy update, but I didn't, so I'm gonna say it to y'all. Cause I always say stuff to y'all and keep it a hundred. <laughs> um, but I realized today I was just laying in bed and my doctor has me going back every single week. I'm only 23 weeks. I'll be 24 weeks on Tuesday, today's Thursday. Um, and so my doctor has me going to the doctor every single week and all I could think of like is when I was working and pregnant with Taylor. Like I would have been checking my calendar. Like they called me and said like, I want you to come in this day. I would have had to check my calendar first, talk to my supervisor. Uh, and my supervisors, they were always, like every supervisor, not everyone, but the last two I had, they were very like, very sweet, very like caring and stuff, like put your family first type people. Um, however, <laughs> um, put your family first, but still put that time down that sheet correctly for my last job. <laughs> but. Um, Anyway, I just realized like how grateful I am to because of my business that I don't have to ask nobody like for time off. I don't have to check my calendar because I can work my business from anywhere. So even if I have a phone call, I can still like, you know, change it around if I have to because it's my business. So that is like just that comfort in knowing that I could I can provide like care for myself and my health and my baby's health um like a hundred percent put put us first like it's no it's no greater feeling so i just thought about that this morning i just wanted to cry and the what made me think about that is that i was looking at another video of a girl who's also in the business and she was actually a, an attorney and she had been able to retire herself. She has three babies, but her youngest that she had, she had already retired herself when she had her youngest. So on that youngest baby's first birthday, she was, um, she posted a video and she was like boohoo crying because she was like, y'all don't understand. Like I just, I went from working like 60 hour work weeks and I just experienced like have, being there for my baby every single day, experience, experiencing every single one of my babies first. Um, whereas most times we don't get to see those things. And I'm like, I just turned to CJ and I was like, babe, do you realize like how much of Taylor's life we missed? Because she wasn't with a family member. So some people have the luxury of having their kid with a family member. And I don't care, even if your kid's with a family member, you're still missing something. They're not telling you every single thing the baby, the child is doing. So it's still not the same, but um, I'm just like so grateful for my business y'all and so grateful that I get to help other mommies who have the same goals of like being home with their babies, changing their financial circumstances, building something legendary for their family. A lot of people think of what I'm doing like as a here and now, like 2018 or July, June, July 2018. I'm thinking 2030. I'm thinking 2040, like when my babies are older and they're trying to, um, you know, start a job or start a business of their own and they don't have to worry about Sally Mae or Fed loans hitting them up and stuff like that. So yeah, that was a little rant. We're gonna buy, we about to show y'all these colors and how we get down, cause Nani, Nani, I call her Nani sometimes. She knows all her colors, right Tutu? Yeah. Tutu. Right, Tutu? Yeah, right. I got my spoon. Nuggets and Nuggets salad. And salad. Mm-hmm. And mommy pencil. Pen, thank you. Pen. I'll take that. All right, let's do these colors real quick. Ready? I can't eat my food, boys. No, we're going to show them the colors because mommy got to eat her food. I'm hungry. What color is this? Red. Red. What color is this? Orange. Or say it loud. What color is this? Oops. How rude. How rude. 
looking. How rude. <sighs> Say stand up. Say stand up. Okay, we just gonna lay it down like this. Cause this what it's not gonna do is disrespect me. Um, what color is this to be? This little rabbit. What color is this? Come on, so I can go get my food. I'm hungry too. Me too. You too? <laughs> Jade. Straight up eating leaves, dry leaves. Okay, what color is this? Yellow. Say it loud. Yellow. Yellow. Yale. No, look. Yale. Yale. Yellow. Yellow. Okay. <laughs> Yellow. What color is this? Blue. Very good. What color is this? White. No, this one. Purple. Very good. What color is this? Beautiful brown. Beautiful brown. What color is this? Pink. Green. Green. Good job. What color is your salad? I can't hear you. Green. All right. Yes. Don't put it on the. Don't put it on the poster. What color is this? Mm -hmm. Black. Very like good. My hair. Black like your hair. Very good. What color is this? Stay away, Mr. Mr. No, stay away, Mr. Gr. Say it loud. Gray. Gray. She messes up on gray sometimes. What color is it? And she, I can tell her to go like, go find something gray in the house and she can bring it to me, but the, the name of the color, she messes up sometimes. And what color is that? White. White, very good. Clap your hands. She better get up. Clap your hands, stump your feet, pat your back, kiss your brain. Good job. Can we do a little bit? <laughs> she wanna do it again. Clap your hands, stump your feet, pat your back, kiss your brain. No more right. Finish eating, okay? Mom gonna get her food. You want something to drink? Sure. Okay. <laughs> don't do that no more. Excuse me. I don't know where she got this little fake burp from. We don't do that, so I don't know where she got that from, but I hate it. But I'll talk to you guys later. All right, hey, I just wanted to come and give you guys an update. Um. I know the last time I said CJ was gonna come on the vlog, he did it. This is what happens, he comes home from the gym. I am in the back doing calls. After my calls, I get in the shower and go to bed and yeah, so that's what happens with that. So I apologize um, and we'll get better as we're getting back into like the flow of things or whatever, but um, Okay, update on the appointment that I had today. I was gonna do like a formal video, but I literally just talked to y'all last week about everything. Um, so I'll just tell you guys what's been going on. So today I went back to the doctor and <clears throat> same thing, they checked the growth of the baby, they checked the amniotic fluid, they checked my cervix, and um, the growth of the baby is great. Um, the fluid around the baby is good. Um, she said that my cervix is getting longer, so it went from between 2.4 to 2.7 up to 2.8 to 2.9 millimeters, which is on the lower end of normal. The last time, well, initially when I found out something, like it wasn't in the normal range, I asked where they wanted it to be, and she told me between 3 and 3.5, so it's not that bad. Um, and... She said, so my cervix looks really good, it's closed, it's not funneling, it's not dilating at all. So that's perfect. Um, I was told that I could return in a week to two weeks. 
however i did inquire about being able to travel because um i as you guys know like in the summer i go to florida for my business conference it's so fun i was looking so forward to it i already had purchased a ticket for cj and i and so i wasn't going to be able to go but with everything like on its way up <laughs> um i was hoping that i could be like released from like the low intensity situation or like you know take it easy situation so i could go or whatever so she said to just come back next week so she can determine whether it's safe or not for me to go ahead and do that so i'm not i'm still not sure what i'm gonna do cj's like a little weary about it um and my mom is too however i'm thinking about it like i'm not gonna be doing that much i know that flying puts stress on your body anyway or whatever but i something just keeps telling me that i need to be there i need to go i need to go i need to go and um i did not go to our like our conference in april um because i was planning on going to this one it's probably good that i didn't go to the one in april though with like what transpired you know at my 20 week appointment but um it probably would have been worse but yeah so I don't, I don't feel as much pressure um, on my pelvis area at all. I don't know if it's because my cervix is getting longer or what, but I really do not feel the pressure that I was feeling. Um, so I guess it is like strong like they're saying. Um, my sleeping has been horrible. Like I had to come home from the doctor and take a nap. Like I was just so exhausted. Basically I went... Um, I've been like waking up in the middle of the, of the night and I'll just wake up and can't go back to sleep. So I was like, okay, what do I do? So I get on my phone or stuff and I just like, I can't go back to sleep. I'm sitting up, I'm going to check on Taylor. I'm looking at CJ, like I'm just up. So last night I went to bed at like 12. I, that happened at two. So I was up from literally 2 a.m. To 4 a.m. and then I have my daily morning calls with my team at 5 a.m. and I know you guys are wondering like why are you doing it so early because guys people are most productive in the morning um, you decide whether your day is gonna be good or not like when you wake up so I want people to like start their day with something that they're trying to you know make changes in their family and in their life so we should start our day with that instead of going to work, coming home, eating, getting tired and stuff like that. And then trying to put our business on the back burner. Like I'll do it if I have a chance to get to it. We should start with our business first because it's ours. So that's why we do that. And it has helped our team so much with like getting wins and stuff this month. So not this month, last month, um, this month just started. So that's where we are. Today I'm currently 24 weeks, which is great. Um, when this situation started happening, like with my cervix, she told me that 24 weeks is considered like a viable pregnancy. So, um, look at sneeze. So she wanted me to like try to get there or whatever. So now I guess my goal is to get to like 27 to 30 weeks um, without any issues. The trip that I'm planning to go on will be, I'll be 26 weeks going into 27. So I turn 27 weeks on a Tuesday and I'll be flying out on like Thursday and coming back on Sunday. So yeah, what do you guys think? I don't know. I really feel like I need to be there for my girls. Um, I want to meet my team members that I haven't met. Yeah, it's like I feel like I know them. Like I feel like we already know each other and stuff because we are we see each other all the time. But it's it's different like when you're actually able to be in the environment with them and like have fun with them and stuff like that. This event is not as um busy as the like our February conference. This one is like a little laid back. You have a little more downtime and stuff. So, um I was I'm really looking forward to you all. So, Hopefully, I'll be able to go. Um, but, yeah. That's the latest. What else? My weight gain and stuff is, like, perfectly on target. Like, um, my app said that I should be gaining. I should have gained 15 pounds by now. And I've gained exactly 15 pounds uh, when I got on the scale today at the um, doctor. So, 
<clears throat> hopefully like I'll be able to maintain that so that I don't have like any difficulty like losing the the pregnancy weight after um I have noticed that I get out of breath quick I'm starting to get out of breath um when I sneeze I have like this sharp pain in my pelvis sometimes like if I'm laying down if I'm standing or sitting I'm good but when I'm laying down and I read it, that's normal too um I thought that I had a UTI yesterday but I think it was just that I wasn't I didn't eliminate like everything so I remember when I was pregnant with Taylor the same thing happened I thought I had a UTI the test came back negative and it was the doctor basically told me like you you have to lift your stomach up when you're going to pee because if not like your bladder is not gonna completely eliminate you know everything so um, after I drank some water and like started you know lifting up my bladder everything was like good with that I need to drink some water now actually but I'm about to go make me some lunch I've been craving like ham sandwiches so what I've been doing is like putting the ham first I wash the ham off and then I put the ham in like a pan and I like you know heat it up fry it up kill anything that's on it and then I put my cheese up there I put my little bread in the toaster put some lettuce up there not lettuce but um yeah like spinach and stuff up there on the sandwich it was so bomb yesterday so I'm about to make me one of those maybe two of those <laughs> and um yeah that's that's pretty much everything that I wanted to tell you guys I'm gonna go ahead and edit this and get it up to you all um so yeah y'all have a blessed evening or night or day whenever i decide to upload this um don't forget to like and subscribe i will give you guys an update next week to let you guys know what my doctor is saying like can i travel can i not um and i'm about to go ahead and check some flights just to see like how because i didn't buy the flight i bought the actual ticket for the conference so i'm going to check the flights to see like how much it would cost um because it is kind of late so if it's like outrageous then i probably won't go um so yeah that's where we are um y'all pray keep praying for me and thank you so much for all the kind words thanks for praying for me um, thanks for praying for us. And y'all are Taylor's little hype, hype man. Like she, she loves to be hyped up and y'all just do it every time. Y'all just hype her up. Um, but yeah, that girl is so full of personality. Like it's amazing to me. Um, but yeah. Okay. For real y'all. Talk to y'all later. Love you all. Yeah.